story. We both know that it is corny. I need you inside of my YouTube. It's your boy T New, and today is just a QA video. I want you guys to get to know me know me better as a person. So I posted on my Snapchat, Instagram, and I believe my Twitter and asking people to ask me questions so I can answer them in a YouTube video. So let's get started. First question is what is what is my worst fear? My worst fear is probably failing or not succeeding because when I don't succeed at something, I think about it all day, every day, and I get real sad and I'm just thinking about it, like, oh, and I get frustrated. That's probably the worst thing is I'll get frustrated. So probably, yeah, not succeeding. It's probably my worst fear. The thing I'm most proud of is probably my personality. If you ask people what type of person is Tristan, they probably say, oh, he's a generous person. He's a charismatic person. He's very funny. So I'm probably saying my, my personality. Uh, where do I see myself in five years? Hopefully not a failure. Uh, I see myself in five years as in a well-developed excuse me, actor slash producer slash director. How many kids do I want to have? None. My job makes me not want to have kids at all. Like you, you can ask anybody who works at Urban Air, no matter where, and they're gonna say, Urban Air makes me not want to have kids, or any type of amusement park, or any type of park, or whatever. It's gonna make you not want to have kids because you see kids all running around, they're all snotty boogery, just germ infested, they're loud, they're crying all the time. It just makes you wanna. It's a big birth control. It, it, it literally is a birth control. I don't want to ever. I, I, I said I don't want to ever. I don't ever want to have kids. But, pretty sure my mom wants some brand babies. So, I, I want to continue to have on um, the new name. So, I want to at least have three kids. At least a set of twins and the other gender. So, yeah. Whatever my wife wants, really. It's her body, not my body. Um, uh, what do you want to profession in? I want to be an actor slash producer slash director. As I believe that's my calling. And what's my type? The female type. Next question. Uh, no. Um, my mom says my type is light skins, which I don't believe because I've dated a mixture of females. So um, you just have to have a, a great personality. You gotta be able to make me laugh. If you make me laugh, then you are in there like swimwear but it's, it's, it's just more it's, you have I have to be able to see myself with you in the next year or the next two years like if I can't see myself with you in the next two years then I don't think it's probably not gonna work I'm always looking towards the present and the future so yeah yeah uh, favorite sport and why my favorite sport is football and why because it's my first love yeah, I just remember my grandpa teaching me how to throw a football properly. So from there on, just just went with it and played through high school and middle school, etc. What's my full name? Tristan Bartholomew Newton the Third. <sighs> Have you ever had a true love? What's love? Ooh, stupid ass. Uh, who is your everything? My mother. Oh my goodness, my mother is literally my, if I, I literally talk to my mom every day. If I, if, if I was talking to my mom every day, then I can't function. And for you guys, for people that, that know and don't know, I live in Texas, my mom lives in Georgia, so I can't, I don't see her every day. So I have to talk to her every day. If I can't talk to her every day, then my day is just really, really, just really bad and I, I have to talk to my mom. So my mom is my everything. Do I play any sports? Uh, yeah, I used to. I'm not playing anymore. I don't wanna play anymore at all. Um, do I play any instruments? Yes, I used to. I used to play percussion. I used to be in a percussion. I played the snare, the xylophone, and the xylophone is just like a big piano, so it taught me how to 
transform the xylophone to piano, so I would like to play the piano. I actually want to pick up the piano again because I just really like moving my fingers. So, yeah. When did I graduate? I graduated in 2018. Yeah, Marietta, Georgia. My eye is swollen, guys. That's why I'm continuing to rub it. Um, but yeah, I graduated in 2018 in Marietta, Georgia at Wheeler High School on May 23rd. Uh, what else? When was my first kiss? I never had one. Who is your congressperson? That's a good question. I'm gonna go with the guy who's bald. Um, my favorite music? Probably r and I'm not always into a rock hard cussing and I'm really not into that stuff but uh, not into the guns and the violence sometimes I just want to be able to just relax and chill like Khalid he's like a, 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 a R&B also kind of pop type of guy and I enjoy listening to him a lot my favorite actor is either between Michael B. Jordan or Denzel Washington I mean there's no one even explaining you guys know who these people are so yeah let's see have I, what's, what's the other question? What should be my first step as an aspiring actor? The first step is realizing you want to do this because a lot of people make the mistake of, oh, I want to do this and they do it and they're just thinking, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't like it. So making sure that it's something that you actually want to do. Um, then the next step is getting noticed, getting yourself, reaching out, getting yourself out there. So. If you're in high school, join a theater team at high school. If you're outside of high school, find a find many different agencies or just record yourself doing a monologue and post that on your social media and push hashtag aspiring actor and following other actors and following other acting agencies and just constantly getting yourself out there because no one's gonna just just shake your hand and say, hey, I want you to be an actor. Like, no, you have to actually get yourself out there. That happens like one in a million of, I like your face, you should be an actor with me. So just making sure that you that's something that you want to do and then from there on, just go for it, man. Just go and just always posting and always, um, just be public. That's probably the main thing, being public and not being afraid to, to fail. It's okay to fail. You're, you know, I've, I've done many auditions and I've, I've bombed them. I've, had, I've stopped in mid-sentence and not knowing what to do. So it's just, you know, it just has to be, you have to be out there. You have to realize that it's something that you want to do and, and go with it. Excuse me. My foot is really, really dry. <laughs> super dry. That is just nasty. Then you got some Vaseline. I need some Vaseline. Anywho, back to what I'm saying. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, what other questions have I? Oh, okay. This is a good one. What's it like getting accepted into an acting school? It's amazing. You literally do an audition. Well, the school has to actually like you at first, and then you do what they send you audition, and whether they like you or not, they'll move forward, talk to scholarships with you, get accepted. That's probably the first thing is getting accepted and then scholarships and then you go from there. I was gonna go to New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts, which was a school in New York for Dramatic Arts. So yeah, am I in school now? And if so, what's my major? I'm actually not in school right now. I'm, I'm sorry, my nose really itches right now. Uh, I'm actually trying to go to school in fall and then I'll get my associate's degree. It's a two year school right now and then I'll transfer and major in sports psychology and minor in history. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Question. Question. That's pretty much it, guys. So, yeah. So, I appreciate you guys for asking these questions. I appreciate you guys for I'm sorry, my foot itches again. And I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll go from there. I'm going to be posting a monologue pretty soon. And a monologue is just a little skit. So I'll probably be posting that pretty soon. 
And that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for clicking, like I already said, with all my subscribers, every single one of you. Um, but yeah, uh, shout out to the people that sent questions to me. If I didn't get to your question, not terribly sorry. It's a lot of questions. Um, but that's good night, people. It's pretty, it's nighttime right now. It's 11.54 p.m. So, uh, <laughs> you know, good night, people. And stay tuned and constantly share, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Me morning, yes, you know you got me morning. This should be part of our story. We both know that it's corny. I need you inside of my.